No matter which of these cinematic drones you've got, they all suffer from the same problem. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix that really fast. So you go and buy one of these three cinematic drones and you expect your footage to look fantastic straight away. And it should do because these are cinematic drones, but unfortunately it just won't. You see, by default, out of the factory, there is a setting that you need to change on any of these cinematic drones to make sure that your footage looks as smooth and cinematic as possible. Unfortunately, this is super easy to do. So go and grab your DJI RC controller. It doesn't matter which one you've got, it all works the same. But by default, when you first fly one of these drones, you'll notice even under the cinematic mode, so you've got cinematic, normal, and sports. So we're gonna be concentrating on cinematic in today's video. You'll notice that when you are flying it in cinematic, it still moves really fast and jerky, really abrupt movements. And also the gimbal as well. When you move that gimbal up and down, it should be nice and smooth rotations. But by default, it's super fast and abrupt. Doesn't look good at all. So I'm gonna show you the three different things you need to change on this right now. So you can have a go along with me, you can save this, you can screenshot it, you can come back to this video. Let's show you what to do. So on your control, you want to go into your settings on the top right hand corner and go across to where you'll see control and then scroll down to what says gain and expo tuning. So under this area, you'll see at the very top, you've got cine, normal and sports. So click on cine, that's what we're gonna be concentrating on. So once you've done that, scroll about halfway down and you will see expo. And we're gonna concentrate on this box, this curve. We're going to adjust this curve, which is going to make a massive difference to how your aircraft reacts. So you'll see now you've got the up down. You want to change that under your, adjust that to 0.15 and the pitch roll setting to 0.15. And this will really smooth out that curve now. So when you actually move the aircraft around on these sticks, you're not going to have that same jerky abrupt motion like you had out of the factory settings. But also a really important aspect of any of this drone flying is how you are on that gimbal. And all of these drones again are far too fast in the gimbal rotation. So what you don't want to do is when you're actually rotating that gimbal, for the gimbal to go up and down super fast like this, it looks terrible. You want your gimbal movement to be super nice and slow with a really nice ending as well. That's what's the cinematic look to this in that cinematic mode. Again, it's not your fault, it's just how it's been set up, but we can change that again really easily. So under gimbal, I have my max control speed set to four and tilt smoothness set to 15. So again, go and change that and you'll find that your gimbal movement up and down is now a lot smoother and a lot slower and therefore a lot more cinematic. And then if we go to the very top of that menu, you'll see under aircraft, there's quite a lot of different settings here. So again, screenshot this, pause the video, put these values into your controller, and then you will have the exact same setup how I fly my drone as well. And the beauty of this is if you don't actually like this, you don't like the way it then flies, you can scroll right to the very bottom of this menu and you can click reset all settings and that will then send it back to default as well. I would recommend just having this under cine, so the cinematic flying. This is going to make that drone perform pretty slow. Gimbal motion is going to be nice and slow as well. So just how you want your drone to react when you're flying in a cinematic way. Now you can use these settings in the normal mode as well if you want to, I personally don't. And under sports mode, I wouldn't use any of these settings in sports mode at all. Sports mode is basically just for having either some fun with your drone, flying really fast or getting to a location. So majority of all these settings should only be used under the cinematic mode. So a quick tip for you there, but it's going to make a massive difference to how you fly any of your cinematic drones. No matter if you've got any of the Mavic 3 series drones, the Air 3, the Air 2S, any of the mini drones, change these settings, change these values to what I've shown you today. And all of these jerky motions, the gimbal being far too fast, all of that will go away. If you found this video helpful, just do me a favor and just hit that like button. Go and have some fun flying your drones now and your cinematic moves are going to be so much better. Subscribe if you're new around here. I've got loads of content coming really soon and if you do struggle remembering some of these settings remember i've got my own dji cheat sheets a digital download you take with you and then you're going to have access to all of these different tips settings how to get the very most out of your drones when you're out flying so just one of those settings was discussed today but there's loads more on those dji cheat sheets so they're on my website right now i'll link in the top of the description but i really hope you enjoyed this video this is going to make a massive difference to you it's the first thing i do whenever i get one of these new drones i go and change all of these different settings and values. See you in the next one.